Have you ever had a situation in your environment where your fabric performance seems to go to a crawl and you cannot figure out exactly what's causing the problem? In today's video, we're going to talk about slow draining devices, which is the primary cause of fabric performance degradation. Hi, I'm Howard Johnson, a Principal Software Architect with Brocade. Today we'll be talking to Satish Yanasakra, who is our Senior Principal Architect of our Fiber Channel products. What are the particular characteristics of a slow drainer device? So moderate slow drain devices cause latencies in the order of uh, 1 to 10 milliseconds, and these can cause severe performance issues, while severe slow drain devices can cause uh, latencies in the order of hundreds of milliseconds that can cause timeouts, uh, I.O. frame loss, mm -hmm. and up severe application outages. We see exactly those kinds of things in our fabric. Uh, a class 3 discard or frame discard occurs. Um, what tools does Brocade have to isolate or find these kinds of problems in the, in the sand? Brocade Fabric OS has multiple tools to help with slow drain devices, specifically identifying a slow drain device and to mitigate the effects of a slow drain device. Um, monitoring and alerting policy suite called MAPS is a tool to help with this. So MAPS can identify severe slow drain conditions where there are frame timeouts and application timeouts. In addition to that, we have come up with Fabric uh, Performance Impact uh, Monitoring which is a component within MAPS that is geared towards identifying not just the slow drain device, but its impact to the network. How does FPI identify a particular slow draining device? Uh, FPI is uh, implemented within our ASICs on 8 gig, 16 gig, and 30 gig products. Basically, the ASIC is able to detect slow drain conditions in real time on a frame by frame basis. It looks for two specific conditions. One condition looks for how long a frame has to wait before it exits the port while another condition looks for how long a frame has to be uh, waiting, for, waiting in the ASIC to get out of the port. So these two uh, counters in conjunction provide the visibility into the slow drain behavior. And then at a higher level, using the MAPS rules, we are able to look for conditions that either indicate a spike, uh, which is happening in the order of a second, or if it's happening in the order of 10 seconds, which might indicate a moderate latency, or something that's sustained over several seconds. Once FPI has identified a particular device, yep. how does it let the customer know which device in the fabric it is? Yes, uh, with FPI, the customer can be notified of an SDD using a RAS log, email, or an SNMP alert. What tools do we have to mitigate the problems that a slow draining device is causing? MAPS has options for multiple actions that can be taken automatically when a slow drain device is detected. One action could be to fence the port as soon as a slow drain device is detected. This would allow the fabric to be protected and unrelated flows to be uh, protected so that they're not affected because of the slow drain device. Uh, an alternate action could be to do a port toggle. A port toggle can be used in two different scenarios, uh, depending on the use case. In uh, one scenario, if the intent is to just uh, reset the device and clear the slow drain behavior from the device, then a possible action could be just to do a port toggle with a short duration. Uh, if the intent is to be able to uh, go through another alternate path through a multipath software, then the port can be disabled for long enough duration that causes the multipath software to uh, take an alternate path. MAPS supports another action called uh, SDDQ, which is a slow drain device quarantine. This action allows a slow drain device to be quarantined such that the effects of the slow drain behavior is not, uh, does not percolate to other devices and other flows within the fabric. This is achieved through using a specific low VC, low priority virtual channel uh, for, through which the uh, HDDQ flows, the slow drain device flows go through. Is this really hard to set up? How does a customer use this? Yes, uh, FPI is part of our MAPS tools. Uh, basically, all the rules and the policy um, configurations that you use uh, through MAPS that are available to FPI. Uh, the rules and the thresholds and the parameters that are associated with them are predetermined th uh, through Brocade's extensive testing and experience with slow drain devices. So uh, the only configuration that's required, believe it or not, is just to turn on the feature. Really? Just turn it on and that's it? Absolutely. It sounds like the slow draining device tools and functions like MAPS and FPI are associated with particular hardware levels. What vintage of Brocade products support these capabilities? Uh, FPI functions are available in all 8 gig, 16 gig, and 30 gig products. They've been inbuilt in the ASIC as well as the software components uh, that support these platforms. What software levels do we need to run on our switches in order to exploit these functions? So it requires BNA 12.3 or later. And uh, to use FPI and MAPS uh, for slow drain detection, you need the Fabric Vision license. Thank you, Satish. This has been 
uh, very eye-opening to find out that Brocade has these tools available to our customers for them to identify performance problems in their fabric that are associated with slow draining devices. In this session, we learned about Brocade's Fabric OS features, maps, monitoring, alerting, and policy suite, and FPI, Fabric Performance Impact Monitor, that allow customers to identify, isolate, and mitigate the problems associated with slow draining devices. For more information on these and other Fabric OS features, we encourage you to obtain the Brocade Sand Fabric Resiliency Best Practices Guide.